Well, hello and happy spring equinox or winter equinox wherever you are in the world. Um, today is uh, a magical day. Tomorrow is Heritage Day in South Africa or Human Rights Day. And it got me thinking, you know, what is it that we have to honor the right to be in remembrance of our humaneness rather than thinking that being human is something that is outside of us and I want to ask you a question <sighs> why is it that when it comes to ourselves unlike the flower or the grass that needs the right environment to bloom that we don't look at the flowers that uh, we don't nurture and tend to our internal garden like we would a flower to get it to bloom. Why is it that we do just the opposite a lot of the time? We blame the flower, the person, um, the business, and not the environment. But if you sit back and you think that same person that certain people found useless or worthless or not enough or judged as wrong rather than human righteousness turns out to be the same person that other people see greatness full of worth more than enough what changed and I've said this many, many times in another way, that you are the gun and the environment is the trigger, just like the flower needs the environment to thrive. So if you're looking for the grass being greener on the other side, what if you just water your own grass and look at that when you change your environment, everything changes. What if it could be as simple as just choosing to claim your birthright? Your true nature is to thrive, just like spring reminds us that the plants, the seeds that you've planted are now going to push their way out from underneath the soil, from the dark and bloom and blossom but that you have to tend your garden and I know how hard it can sometimes be to do that when everything outside of you looks like it's in chaos but what if you look at what is possible what you can change what you are capable of doing you are infinite and possibilities are everywhere if you just see what is available to you and you start using your resources wisely that's how you change you can't change things that are outside of you but you can change how you choose to respond to your environment and I know that in order to feel happiness to be fulfilled when you're surrounded by things that are miserable or in misery, when you start to feel joy, when you're surrounded by constant pain, it's hard to see just how valuable you are, just how much there is to appreciate. When you are around things that make you feel worthless. And I know how you feel. I know because just like you I once was a flower that was dying in the wrong environment but once I changed my surroundings my environment once I started to see what is possible my life changed and that's in the practice and I know it's not always easy to get up and walk away from certain things or people but I will let you know this that as long as you're around the things that don't make you feel alive you're going to die and you will never realize how much beauty 
and how beautiful life truly is. <sighs> Thank you, Mark. So just start looking for the blessings, the lessons in the blessings, the blessings. You are so worthy. You're full of worth, beauty, talents, greatness, and magic. And sometimes it just takes the right environment to make you see that. I hope you find them. Just remember, it all starts with you trusting you. And the power of choice is yours and yours alone. So trust that you're enough. Look at your righteous birthright, your true nature. It's always been there. And all you have to do is step out and choose it. And if you like this video, share it. Choose.